Welcome my dear friends. In this video, we're going to truly show you the smartest ways to recover data from your damaged phone. Well, most of these methods are for Android, but some of the hardware level ideas may work for iPhone as well. Solution 1. Basic Recovery Methods. Before we deep dive into more advanced solutions, it's always a good idea to check your Google account backups. If you're looking for photos or videos, you can simply check at photos.google.com. Log in with the same Google account that you used in your damaged phone. Please check at photos as well as trash. Also check at drive.google.com slash drive slash backups. These contents are not directly accessible for security reasons, but if you set up your next device with the same Google account and WhatsApp number, then you can get all these data back in your new device in fully accessible form. On the other hand, if you have SD card in your damaged phone, then please take out and insert into a working phone. Maybe the file that you are looking for is available in the SD card. You can also use SD card reader and try to view the content on your computer. Solution 2. OTG Cable and Computer Mouse. This solution is more suitable if your display is viewable but touch not working. Please arrange or buy an OTG cable and a mouse. With this setup you can easily navigate your damaged phone and recover the data that you are looking for. Solution 3. Micro USB to HDMI and USB adapter. In this scenario, maybe your display is not viewable, so you need a TV or monitor or projector. Your touch not working so you require a mouse. Finally, you require an adapter to connect these two to your damaged mobile. Once connected, please ensure to change the input source on your TV or monitor to HDMI. With the mouse, please navigate your damaged phone contents and recover the data as required. Solution 4. ADB Data Recovery This method works well if USB debugging is enabled in your damaged phone and your PC is always allowed to connect in the past. Please connect your phone with the PC. In your PC go to the folder where you have ADB EXE file. If you don't have ADB files, please download from this link. Once downloaded, extract the zip file contents to a directory. Please try to avoid long names and spaces in this path. Press and hold Shift key and right-click on the empty space over here. Please open PowerShell or Command Prompt. Type ADB Devices and hit Enter. You should see a device listed like this. This confirms ADB connection is successful and you have high chance of recovering your data. If you do not see any device, please skip to other solutions in this video. Alternatively, you can follow the ADB troubleshooting video link provided at the description. Please use ADB shell ls forward slash. Note down these folder names and use it in the next ls command. In this way you have to locate the file or folder that you want to recover. Please use the same in the adb pull command. This command pulls the file from your damaged phone to your computer. As you can see, I have recovered these files from my damaged phone. Solution 5. Custom Recovery. If you already have custom recovery such as TWRP, you can recover your files using it. Please connect your phone with the PC. First of all, completely power off your damaged phone. Please press and hold the recovery key combinations for your device model. If you are not sure please search Google. For my phone it's volume up plus power button. 
Once you are in recovery mode you can release the keys. While you are in recovery mode, ADB works by default. From here you can follow the same steps shown in solution 4, to pull the files from damaged phone to PC using ADB commands. Solution 6. Fastboot or download mode. Please connect your phone with the PC. Ensure your phone is completely turned off. Please press and hold the fast boot key combinations for your device model. If you are not sure please search Google. For my phone it's volume down plus power button. Once you are in download mode you can release the keys. Carefully download custom recovery for your device model. And place it in the same folder where you have ADB and Fastboot EXEs. Now double check that your device is listed using Fastboot Devices command. If you see your devices, you can run Fastboot Boot command with your recovery file name. As told already, while you are in recovery mode, ADB works by default. From here you can follow the same steps shown in solution 4, to pull the files from damaged phone to PC using ADB commands. Solution 7. Screen Replacement. Replacement screens are available online, so you can buy the screen specific to your device. Good part is, most of them comes with basic tools required for screen replacement. Of course, you required some skills to do it by yourself, and there are quite a lot of videos available in YouTube on this. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.